I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt, host and owner of Wargaming Recon. You can see right down over here, actually, <laughs> is our web address, wargamingrecon.com or Wargaming Recon. So we're coming at you with another unboxing video, and this one I am super excited about. So excited, in fact, that I literally, I just came out of the shower and I was like, oh, I gotta do it. So it arrived today, and it's a very, very special package from Cigar Box Battle. And the reason why it's extra special is, first of all, I wasn't expecting it to come today. And second of all, it's an advanced review copy of something they are launching in a brand new Kickstarter, which actually started a little earlier than they thought. They were saying officially August 1st, but it started today, end of July 2017. And so we're going to open this up right here so you can see what it looks like. Now, you will probably get yours in a package like this, is my guess. Um, I'm not sure how it is internationally. They might do something different, but they have information on their Kickstarter page. So I'm just going to cut it open. Let's dive in. Be careful not to cut into your thing. So we cut, cut, cut. And we get a sneak peek. What's this? And it's in a baggie. And... It looks pretty cool. Let's take it out of the bag, you know. Just, this is nice so you keep that for keeping them nice and safe when you're not using them. If you're not familiar, Cigar Box Battle makes battle mats. And before we look at that, let's look at one I already have. This is the Grassland 2 mat. It's a plush mat. And the back side is this nice kind of soft stuff. It's soft on both sides, but different. And the Kickstarter is doing double-sided plush battle mat. So these are six by four foot tables. They're actually longer and larger than that because the idea is you put stuff underneath so you create contoured elevation. So if you had a mat, let's say you had a really tall hill, something underneath, it sticks to it. Not literally like with glue, but you know, it forms a nice contour. You can put minis on it and so forth. They have videos on the Kickstarter. And I got one of the first ones. <laughs> so let's stand up. I'm sorry if you see my grind. It's not my intention. So here it is, and it's huge because it fills a whole table. So what I have here is the Europe 2, I believe they call it, it's 20 slash 25 millimeter scale. And you can see it is soft and everything. They have trees on there, they got roads. So if you don't have any of those kind of terrain features, you put this down and you're ready to go actually. You don't need anything else. It looks really nice. Stitching is great as always. These are definitely luxury items, but they're going to last forever. You can get one of them on the Kickstarter, one double-sided mat for $99, which is basically almost cost, I think, for them because they normally sell them for $79, I think, for the plush mats, and that's for one design. You're getting two designs in one mat. And then on the other side, we got this, which is still the same design. So this looks similar, but this is a beachhead. So this would be great for bolt action for Normandy. This would be great for Ancients. You could do uh, Hail Caesar, for example. You could probably do Aurelian on it. Um, been talking about Aurelian on my show lately. But you're like, where's the beach? And here's the water. So this actually can work with some of their other water mats. I think it's their ocean mat. I forget what the actual name of it is. So you could have like more ocean over here. You get this, and then you come on to the grassland, and this actually pairs up with their old grassland, not the new grassland. It'd be great if they had updated this to go with the new grassland, but it should work, and actually, let's see if I can give you an image down here. So you can see here's, we'll pull it back a little, here's the old grassland, and you could just say this is a little bit further inland, a little more wooded and so forth, right? So that is an option, beautifully made, and I was really worried, actually, about a couple things. So first of all, one of them is going to sound dumb. And that is on their mats. And do I have the corner here? The corner must be on the other end. On their mats is their logo on the bottom of them. And I guess that once upon a time, they used to put them on the top. And people got very upset. And I don't blame them. But it's on the bottom, underneath, on the single-sided one. So I was like, what are they going to do for the double? Where are they going to put the logo? And it was always in a corner, you know, somewhere here but I'm not seeing it. 
And that's a good thing. I mean, the downside is people don't know what the mat is when you take pictures, but you don't really want a logo right in the middle of your water, right? So I am very happy about that as I'm flipping and nothing. And also there's no real bleed through. So I'm looking on the side, nothing. Water, they're nice and opaque. You don't have to worry about any bleed through. They're very soft. We'll get down here so you can see a little bit better. Um, and this is teddy bear fur. It's short teddy bear fur. You probably have seen regular teddy bear fur, but this you can kind of if you put it the wrong way. You ruffle it up so it's like rough seas here, right? And all I did was go against the grain, make it look turbulent on the other side. And it depends on what you get for your designs. You pick whatever you want. They don't have to be the same. Two designs of your choice. So we got some area here, right? It's nice and flat, but then you can texture it up. I'm just going to find which way it goes against the grain and texture it up. So if you want this area nice and smooth, let's say you want the trees all textured up. So you texture them up just by rubbing it the wrong way. And actually, that can kind of help hold minis in place. I don't have any uh, on hand. We can pretend my ring, should I get it off my finger, is a mini, but rings right here. And let's pretend it's a tall mini. It's going to hold it in place just because it's textured up. So it's really nice. It's a great deal. And if you happen to back them, and I suggest you do, please back them, uh, you can get multiple mats. So if you do say, you're like, I want four different designs, go ahead, back for two mats, and they're giving you a discount. So instead of 99 per mat, which gets you two designs like I have here, you know, you get this nice forest and I got the uh, beachhead. Instead of doing that, um, you get four, and it's not going to be $99 times two, uh, which is like 196 or something like that. My math's probably off, but it ends up being like four or five dollars less. If you live in the continental, or actually, if you live anywhere within the United States, they're charging an extra 15 for shipping, and then international shipping is separate. That's worked out. You got to look on their Kickstarter. They have a bunch of different reward levels, which are basically different quantities of mats. What's really cool is one, if you have a lot of money or there's like a store that wants to do it or there's a group of you, so you got a club or a convention, you want to go in together, you can back for 10 mats. It'll cost you $1,100 plus shipping. And nine, that gives you 20 designs, right? Because they're double-sided, so one here and one here. Instead of it being just 20 designs that you pick, you get 19 designs that you pick from the existing catalog, including Kickstarter exclusives, which I'll get to in a second. And then the last design, the, the final design on the mats is one that they will custom make for you. Yes, you, right there. You watching this. They'll custom make it for you. And there's only five slots for that reward level. So that's really cool if you got a group of people. Uh, most people like myself couldn't afford to be like, here's $1,100. I mean, I wish I could because that'd be great. But uh, get a mat. It's awesome. And they have some special Kickstarter exclusive designs that are coming out. So they have like a, a dry mat, which is good for like a Martian kind of effect or very arid areas. There's another kind of arid desert-like mat, but it's not just, you know, what you would see in Saharan or in the Arabian desert or whatever. It's a darker look than that. I actually backed the project, the Kickstarter uh, project, and boosted it over the $10,000 raised mark, which means the third stretch goal came out, which is a lost temple. And it's kind of like if you play Warhammer Fantasy, where like the lizard men would be. So it's jungle and overgrown, but then there's little pieces of ruins that kind of appear throughout the map. So you can see those uh, nice flagstone kind of work and all that kind of stuff. I guess it's intended to work with the new game coming out in August, I guess, August 2017 or September 2017, sometime later 2017 from Osprey. I don't know if it's a, um, an expansion to Frostgrave or in that kind of line, but I think it could work for a variety of things. You could do Pirates on it. You could do Warmer Fantasy. You could do like Indiana Jones type pulp. You could do Skirmish. You could do all sorts of stuff. And I'm told that there might be, just might be, some more designs that will be Kickstarter exclusives unveiled as stretch goals. So I don't know. I'm going to look at the Kickstarter project for that, see how that is. There'll be a link below the video for how you can back the Kickstarter. We're back and get here at Wigamy Recon. I highly recommend that you do as well. 
Cigar Box Battle has been on the show. We've reviewed the mats. This is just a longer than I intended unboxing, so you can see what the double-sided mat is like. I'm bringing it with me. I'm going out gaming tonight with my buddies, and we're actually going to, we're not even playing minis, I don't think. I think we're just playing board games and stuff, but I'm going to bring this. I tell you, just like the other plush mat, it's so soft. You just want to, oh my goodness, you just want to be like, I'm a Cape Crusader and wear this thing, which actually, if you're in a pinch and you're cold, and let's say you're in your car or something, you're driving to or from a game, you got this mat in there. I mean, don't get it around your feet, make sure you can drive safely, but just kind of like wrap it around yourself. It'll keep you nice and cozy and warm. I tried convincing my wife to let us replace our blankets on our bed with one of these because we're like, then we can game on it and I can have fun playing games on it. It'll keep warm. And she just looked at me and she's like, no. I'm sure a few of you are thinking the same thing. No, Jonathan, no. It's for gaming. It's not for your bed. You game with it, Matt, and you do. Uh, and what else do you have to say? Back the Kickstarter. It's very affordable. I doubt you'll ever see prices like this again from the people at Cigar Box Battle. Their customer service is extraordinary. The project is fantastic. You can't do a better mat than this. And if you're worried, as I know some of you are, because this is fabric, right? This is felt-like um, material. If you're worried about spilling stuff on it, it's washable. Put it in your washing machine on the gentle cycle. Use a non-chlorine um, bleach, I think, on the white mats, which uh, the snow mats aren't part of the Kickstarter, but like on the snow white mats, you're fine. But on this, just throw it in the washing machine and let it air dry. It's supposed to be fantastic. I've not tested it yet, but I will. And um, you can get, I think, almost all the designs so there, there are some that you can't, uh, the anything that's snow, so like the scrubland, the tundra, because there's some bleed through and they, they want to keep it high quality. You can't get any hex overlays and you can't do their um, licensed stuff like across the deadly field. Other licensed stuff might be allowed, but that one's definitely not. Otherwise, back it, you can't and you won't regret yourself, yourself doing it. I'm going to highly recommend if you do it, you might want to get the new grassland too, which is my favorite mat that they've done. So far, I have this, which is a plush. Of course, I got the <laughs> two here, the beachhead one here, which is actually going to be used for a pirate game uh, coming in 2018 <laughs> that we're doing for Wargame American. We got the nice one here, the Europe 2, I think it's called, for bolt action, and which is these are both plush, as is everything from the Kickstarter. And then I have two of the non plush mats, which are just kind of standard belts, which are really nice plush ones, that's where it's at. So the two non um, plush ones are the Tundra and I have a desert one. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching the video. Head on over to Cigar Box Battle through the link below to check out more on their Kickstarter. Back the Kickstarter. You're going to love it. Tell your friends. Spread the word. You won't regret it. So you have from now until I think it runs for four weeks, I think, in middle or end of August 2017 to do it. Don't wait. Do it now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and as always, keep on gaming.